channel. So today's video, so we're gonna be trying minimalistic cakes because I love baking cakes and I decided to make one. I've been seeing them going around on Pinterest, I've been seeing them going around on TikTok and it looks so cute and aesthetic. So I decided let's make a cake. So I asked my mom to pick out some kind of flavor. So she picked out vanilla. So we're gonna be using the Betty Crocker Super Moist Cake Mix in vanilla. So this is the cake mixer we're gonna be using. So we got whipped fluffy white frosting. It's easy to spread. I feel like the whip is better tasting than the regular frosting. I don't know why. So I got white because I might dye a certain color. So let's get right into this. And guys, look what I have. We're gonna get up to date. And I found this under a cabinet. So I have a KitchenAid right here and it's Pretty heavy. Oh my god. Yes, I finally we did we had one, but it's just we had one, but I just didn't grab it and I finally cleaned it. So your girl's up to date and we're gonna use a KitchenAid. So I'm pretty excited and I haven't tried this before, so let's hope um everything goes well. So we're just gonna get this ready. Just leave that in there for now and I have my little whisk right here. That's what it's called. Okay, so it's telling us I need one cup of water, a uh, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. So let's get that. Okay, so I'm probably gonna mix. So we're gonna pour the cake mix and let's get the temperature ready. So we're gonna put it in the oven for 350. Okay, so it's preheating right now. I'm so excited. I always wanted to make one of these cakes. They look so pretty on Pinterest. I want to make one and I have one in mind that I want to do. So we're going to use pure vegetable oil. Okay, so I'm so excited, oh my god. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you know if I ever try to post a new video. And that will help me and my channel and I appreciate it so much. So let's get right into it. Oh my god, I'm so happy. So I know this is open, so it's locked. And I put this in there. Okay. A few moments later. A few inches later. One eternity later. Oh, yes! Okay, I got that. Oh my god. Okay. Lock. And. Okay. Oh my god. <gasps> okay. So I know I put it at. Wait, why is it not turning? Oh, okay, wait, shoot. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna put it on the lowest setting. I finally got it to work. Yes, queen! Okay, so I have my two brown pans and I'm gonna put a little bit of oil around it so hopefully it doesn't get stuck like the first cake I did. Like it got really stuck. So I'm gonna open this, pick it up, let that sit, and then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some oil in here. I have never used that and for a second I thought it wasn't working. I figured out how to do it. Okay, so I gave it a little mix and now I'm going to... Like, really cute. Bake for 20 to 33 minutes, but I think I'm gonna put it in for 30 minutes. Timer on my phone. Okay, I put my timer for 30 minutes and we're gonna wait till my cake is done baking. Hey, Lisa, I quickly wanna mention to Luxur for sending me some amazing gifts. I am so happy to use. So, first off, they sent me awesome mask. So, I got this black linen mask and I think linen is really good for your face, I believe. And they're a kid size because my face is like really small. So, I wanted like a kid size. So, this is what they look like. I love it because it's breathable and it has a wire right here so you can pinch it at the nose so you can fit to your nose size and you can put like a coffee filter in there because it has a little pocket 
and it's adjustable. That's what I love about it because they're adjustable. It's just not like one size. It's not going to be big on your face or too tight. And I love how it has adjustable by the ear. So I got the color black and they sent me cheetah and I was like, oh girl, cheetah, yes please. So here's the cheetah one. And they're really slimming on the face and I really like that. Like, We're going to be looking stylish at the store. So this one also is adjustable and has the wire by the nose. So I love that. And they also sent me this little chain, not the, not the um, glasses booth, but they sent me this beautiful chain. It has pearls on it and it has little beads and it's just a chain. It's a four in one chain. It's 14 gold plated. It hooks up to masks. So you put on your mask, you can put it on your AirPods. It comes with a little, a little accessory to put on your AirPods. Called sunglasses. Like I have on here so I can show y'all. And you can wear it as a necklace. That's another thing too. I'm going to wear it too as a necklace. Slut free, nickel free, stunning, shine. Comes in different styles. But I am definitely grateful and I can't wait to use my mask. Because the only masks are handy at the moment. And this would be a cute way to put on your glasses. Not, this is so cute. Like girl, please. Instagram picture. And it comes with these little accessory too, if you could see it. It's a little clear thing. Came with that too. So you bring them all the way to the front. If you want a little, that's a cute Instagram photo or something. So yeah, I got sent this beautiful chain and I can't wait to wear it when I have an Instagram picture or right on the necklace. So thank you to Luxury for sending me that gift and it's available on Amazon. So you can look that up and you'll find the products on there. So thank you to Luxury for sending me an amazing gift. So now we're going to be waiting for our cake. And I'm still debating on what style I'm going to do my cake. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I'll catch y'all back up when the cake is done and ready. Okay, this is my timer just went off. So I'm just going to check the cakes now to see if they're fully ready. Get my handy dandy to pick to check if there's any, um, if it's not cooked right. Okay. This one's ready. This one's ready too, so. Hey boo, so I'm gonna cut the top so I can have like an even layer. As you see, I already took it off and I already bit some. I wanted to try it. I should probably get a different knife because I don't want like, you know, the crumbs to get on the icing and it's like gonna mess up the icing. So I'm trying to take off. Okay, so that took it off all the little crumbs as much as I could. So this is the plate I'm gonna be placing them on. So there's this white little clean plate and I already kind of measured the little tips I'm gonna use for the icing. So this is probably gonna be for like writing something. And I'm gonna use this tip because I'm gonna be making this kind of thing. I'm gonna screenshot, I screenshot it just in case. So I'm gonna try to recreate it. I hopefully it comes out good. So I'm gonna try to do that cake. I thought that cake was so cute. I was like, oh my God, I love it. I don't have a little pearls or anything like that. So I don't know if I should do like sprinkles. I do have sprinkles. Uh, hopefully it comes out right. So I know this tip, the silver one does make those kind of daisy so hopefully it does come out right hopefully i'm pretty excited i don't know what color i should do should i do like lime green i'm gonna dye the icing i have purple green pink and blue i think i want to try to do a green cake i have never done a green one so i think green will look really pretty probably just like one drop because i don't want to make it too dark so i'm gonna have my green out and guys look i lost a nail I don't know where this nail went. I was washing dishes and I was sweeping and I was like, where is my nail? So if you even see a messy nail, I don't know what happened to it. Time to ice it. I'm gonna, hopefully it does not mess up. So I'm gonna do um, the whip. I'm gonna open it up. Ooh, look at that. Yummy. So I'm gonna use the same butter knife I used to cut around the cake. So I'm gonna put a little bit of icing so the cake won't move. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Booyah! All right, look at that! Okay, I'm literally so happy this came out really good. Just miss a little spot, maybe I can put it back in there. Okay, but yeah, so, okay, so no messy peas, and I'm gonna put a little bit of icing on here. Not too much, because I'm gonna do the outside green. I feel like whip is way better, oh my god. this cute because i really want to make this cake really pretty there's a light layer oh yes 
So, okay. I'm gonna put some icing in a bag. I want some icing that's gonna be white. So I'm gonna put some this cup so I can hold my bag. This, I think I'm gonna do this one like apricot. So it says to get 16 green, so. Okay, so I got it to this color. I mix a little bit of green and blue to make it a little bit darker because that's like the color I kind of want. I'm gonna do a little bit more green. Make it lighten it up. Got it to that pretty green. So now I'm gonna frost the cake. Oh yeah, that's a pretty green. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I seen the cake. It looks pretty cute. Okay, now we're gonna do the little flowers thing. I It's a little messy, but I'm gonna see if I can do it. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how cute! Okay, Lucy, you wanna see the final product? They came out so cute. So here's my cake. It says smile. I had little daisies. It looks so cute. I'm so in love. Maybe I'll full view. It looks so cute. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. I had a fun time making this cake and I never made like any flower kind of design. I'm always like, I'm always basic with my cakes and I'm pretty happy it turned out. I'm really excited to show my mom what I created because your girl's a baker here. Look, look, I can't wait to eat it. I'll let you know later on in the day how it turned out. But other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. And don't forget if you want to check out those masks and those chains. Everything's on Amazon. I'll have a link down in my description. So I'll have it down there. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!